Last time we divided 21 by 7 and we got 3. We put 21 cubes in rows of 7 and got 3 columns. We drew 21 squares in rows of 7 and got 3 columns. We drew 21 lines in rows of 7 and got 3 columns of lines. All three of those are good methods to solve that. Well, what happens if it's not going to give you an even answer? Let's take a look at a different one today. What if we have 29 being divided by 6? The simple way to do it with cubes, pennies, anything small like this, is to just take 29 and start putting them in rows of 6 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I know my 3s, so I'm going to count by 3s this time. 10, 11, 12. Fifteen. There's eighteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-four. We're getting there. Still making rows of six. Twenty-seven. Now, I can't put... 27, 28, 29. When you're dividing, if you put your dividend down in rows of your divisor and you don't have a rectangle, it's not a whole number. Okay? And what we're going to do for now is deal with the remainder and deal with what's left over. But watch how this has to happen. Okay? We put 29 in rows of 6. How many whole rows of 6 did we get? 1, 2, 3, 4 whole rows of 6. So this is going to be the remainder. It's important that you count the number of rows that you put them in, not how many columns you make. All right? Because otherwise I might think it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, with this being left over. Not the case. It's 4 with this being left over. Okay? So 29 in rows of 6 gives us 4 columns with this left over. 4 columns. How much is left over? 2, 4, 5. We're going to call that a remainder for now. And when we solve it, we're going to write it with 4, remainder, 5. Because we have 4 columns with 5 cubes left over. 